Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go through five worked examples on the standard three marker. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my video covering the theory on the standard three marker, as we're gonna need the steps from that video in order to answer these questions. So let's get started. In all of these examples, we're gonna be using speed distance time, as this is hopefully an equation you've seen before. And there's also gonna be some prefixes thrown into the mix as well, just to give you some more practice of those. So question one says, calculate how far a car travels in 300 seconds when it is traveling at a top speed speed of 30 meters per second. So the way I like to do this is I extract the relevant information from the question and set it down on the left hand side. Then on the right hand side, I do my calculation. So let me just show you what I mean. So we're asked to calculate the distance in this question, how far the car travels. So I've got D equals question mark. My speed is equal to 30 meters per second and my time is 300 seconds. Then I want to choose the relevant equation and in all of these examples, it's gonna be the same equation, which is speed, distance, time. So I'm gonna write down my equation of D equals VT. That would get me one mark straight away. And then I'm gonna substitute in my numbers. So I've got V is 30 and T is 300. So that becomes 30 times 300. And lastly, I want to state my final answer with the unit. So at this point, you're gonna input to your calculator 30 times 300 and we get an answer of 9,000 meters. So let's try that same method with question two. How long does it take to walk to school if you walk at an average speed of three meters per second and you live 0.9 kilometers away? Now alarm bells should be ringing that the distance is not given in meters, it's given in kilometers. Remember the K is a prefix, which is kilo, so we're gonna need to take that into account. So we're asked to find how long does it take, so that's a time, so I'm putting time equals question mark. Our speed is three meters per second and our distance is 0.9 kilometers. But remember we said we're gonna need to change that into meters. So this becomes 0.9 times 10 to the power of three meters because kilo is times 10 to the three. So same as before, writing down our equation to start with, D equals VT. We can then rearrange our equation for T. So this becomes T equals D over V, which when we plug in the numbers becomes 0.9 times 10 to the power of three divided by three. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 300 seconds. So question three says a runner takes 1.5 minutes to run 800 meters of a track. What is her average speed? So again, alarm bells should be ringing that we've not been given a time in seconds. We've been given a time in minutes instead. So what we need to do is convert from minutes into seconds. But firstly, let's write down what we're looking for. So the question's asking for average speed. So we've got V equals question mark, D equals 800 meters, and time equals 1.5 minutes. Now, remember we need to change that from minutes into seconds, so we need to times by 60 to find out how many seconds are in those minutes. So we've got 1.5 times 60 gives us 90 seconds. So same as before, write down our equation as the first step. Then we need to rearrange for the speed this time, so we get V equals D over T, and then we can substitute in the numbers. So we've got 800 divided by 90, which will give us 8.9 meters per second. Question four says that a school bus takes 20 minutes to travel 15 kilometers. What is its average speed? Now notice that both the numbers we've been given have not been given in the standard SI units. We've got time in minutes instead of seconds, and we've got a distance in kilometers instead of meters. So let's write down what we know on the left hand side. So we're looking for the speed, so V equals question mark. We know that the distance is 15 kilometers, so let's replace the K with times 10 to the three meters. And we're, our time is 20 minutes, so converting the minutes into seconds, we times 20 by 60 and we're left with 1,200 seconds. Writing down our equation, that's D equals VT, and rearranging for V, same as before, we have V equals D over T. Substituting in our numbers, we have 15 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 1,200, which gives an answer of 12.5 meters per second. And for the last example, number five, Sammy the snail slithers at an average speed of 1.25 times 10 to the minus three meters per second. Find the time taken for him to travel a distance of five millimeters. So we're asked to find the time, so I'm putting T equals question mark. The only prefix we need to be aware of here is for the distance, the millimeters, so we need to convert that into meters. So our speed, first of all, is 1.25 times 10 to the minus three meters per second and our distance is five millimeters, which if we replace milli with times 10 to the minus three, we have five times 10 to the minus three meters. Just like before, writing down our equation, we have D equals VT. Then we need to rearrange for the time, so we get time equals distance over speed. Substituting in the numbers, we have five times 10 to the minus three divided by 1.25 times 10 to the minus three, gives us a final answer of four seconds. So that's it from me guys. I hope you now have a better idea of how to apply the steps and the three mark calculations to these kind of questions. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.